Hey, hey everyone. Today I wanna to show you how to build a two-way lookup formula in Excel, which is a lookup formula using two criteria to get the result. So let's get straight to the example, and then we can get into the details on how to build it. So in this table here, you can see if we search down the left-hand side for a product, let's say Gizmo, it's gonna go down that table and bring back all the results for Gizmo. And what we wanna do is we wanna combine a vertical lookup with a horizontal lookup to get that intersecting result. So across the top, we've got months. Let's select April. We'll go across that table, find all the results for April, and you can see the intersecting result is 42. Now what we're gonna use is a X lookup function to build this. You could use an index match function, but I typically like using X lookup. It's much easier and much faster. So let's get started. Okay, so this is the table. I'm gonna show you how to do a vertical lookup, a horizontal lookup, and then combine the two so we get that intersecting result. And I'm gonna do this using the XLOOKUP function across the whole lot. So let's get started. We're gonna try and find Gizmo and April. The result for Gizmo and April using a vertical lookup equals XLOOKUP. We're gonna look up the word Gizmo, C2, comma, within the range B6 to B13, comma. And what column do we wanna bring back? We wanna bring back the range of F because that's where April is. So we'll select F6 to F13, comma. And then if it's not found, if we can't find that word gizmo at all, let's bring back something and type in, say, not found. Close the brackets, and there you go, it's brought back 42. If we change this product to say, robot, it's gonna go down that April column, and now find robot, which is 50, and there we go, there's the vertical portion of this lookup. Okay, so now we'll look at the horizontal lookup. I'll do this quickly because it's basically the same thing, just the other way around. So equals X lookup. We're gonna look up the month of April or C3. We're gonna try and find it within C5 to H5, comma. And we'll bring back, let's say in this instance, row 10. So we'll go to C10 to H10, comma. And if we can't find it, we'll just type in the words not found in those double quotations and close the brackets. And it's 51. So it's looked up April, gone down to row 10 and found 51. If we change that April to March, it goes across the table, finds March, goes down to row 10 and finds 13. If we type in a word that's not there, it comes up with the result not found. So what we want to do now is combine the two formula where we can have both the criteria in the one formula. We don't have to lock in that one row or a particular month. So let's go back into the formula. Start again, equals X lookup. We're going to look up the product in C2, comma, within the range of B6 to B13, comma. And what do we want to bring back? Well, we don't know yet, so we'll bring back the whole table, C6 to H13. If I close those brackets now, you can see that the lookup has brought back all the values for robot. And if I change the robot to say device, it now has brought back all the values for device, not worrying about the month. But we want to combine it with the month or the selection for month. So let's go back in the formula and nest another X lookup formula, which is the horizontal lookup. So after the second comma, we're going to start typing X lookup again. Open the brackets, we're going to look up C3, which is the month, comma, we're going to look at up in the range from C5 to H5, comma, and the return array is the same, it's C6 to H13, so we'll go to the end of the formula, close that bracket off, and press enter. And now you can see it's brought back that corresponding result, which is March and device. So we can change any of these, we'll change device, say, back to gizmo. And now it's looking at Gizmo and March, and it's brought back 90. So it's a really handy formula. I hope you like it as much as I do. Please subscribe, hit that like button. See you next time.